Hello Trophy Hunters, I'm going to walk you through all the collectibles in Memory Meadow. Starting off with Gusty Gateway is going to be the first of the four areas. Of course, as always, there's four puzzle pieces and two artifacts in each of the four sub-levels. First puzzle piece is actually going to be above us to the right, so we're going to back travel by climbing up the wire of this cable. Head to the left and grab your puzzle piece. Alright, continuing on, crossing another wire, you're going to see a puzzle piece just in front of us to the right. Fairly easy. Watch out for the wind gust. Occasionally the wind gust will throw something, and if you get hit by it, you'll uh, earn another trophy. Alright, so moving on, we're going to do a spin attack on that little orb there. The cloud is going to turn and rotate this platform. We're actually going to skip where we're supposed to go and take this other path. We're going to follow the money, and the money will lead us to an artifact. Ah, the old uh, PlayStation controller before DualShock. All right, so we're going to jump down from that artifact location into the next area. There's a bounce pad to the left, but we're going to skip and go over here to the right, and there's a puzzle piece in the back corner. We will then take that bounce pad up. You'll meet a cloud, and you're supposed to go over to where the, the checkpoint is. We're going to skip that and scale the mountain over here on the opposite side first. Make our way up. It's going to still be above us yet to the right. And pull the wires. <laughs> the old PlayStation mouse. I haven't seen one of those in years. All right, so moving on. You're going to see this rock here to the right. You can jump up onto this little platform. And then up to where the rock is. All right, we are heading over to Fast Lane Fields. We are a ball. We're gonna use our touchpad to control our movement. So we're gonna keep spinning, keep swiping up on the touchpad to move forward. Over here on the left-hand side, there's a little bridge. Underneath it is a puzzle piece. I apologize for the camera angle. I always keep that in mind when recording videos, but I couldn't do anything about that one. So there's the first puzzle piece. So we're just gonna continue on until you can see another puzzle piece on the left side of the road. And then just ahead, there's going to be a split in the path. There's a danger path to the left. Danger always leads to something good, which is absolutely terrible advice for you kids out there. So just keep following this until you get to the artifact. Now, if you press and hold the touchpad, the ball will actually stop. So just keep that in mind. If you're about to roll off, if you just hold the touchpad button down, you'll stop in place, which is very important for this section here. Now, you're supposed to go left, but we're going to go right in order to get to another artifact. I believe it's an artifact, it could be a puzzle piece. I don't remember. It'll be a mystery for all of us. There it is, this is in fact an artifact. Hey, it's an old, P what is it, PS2 disc? All right, so now we're gonna go the other way, which is the way we're supposed to go, but don't go down that slide. I know that slide looks fun, but uh, don't be tempted by it. Instead, roll past it and you'll eventually bounce up into the puzzle piece. And now you can take that slide. If you take this right path, there's a little alternate path here that if you take will lead you right into the final puzzle piece of Fast Lane Fields. We are now in Electro Cloud. So instead of taking that main path, there's if you drop down, there's a bounce pad there. Take you to this pinwheel that you need to blow into your controller to access the next area. And there are two collectibles here. There's going to be one puzzle piece, which of course you can probably see out in the distance. And then there's also going to be an artifact if you follow this path all the way to the end. So jump left for the puzzle piece. And continue forward for the artifact. PS1 LCD monitor. Holy cow. All right. So next on, we're on the main path. This one. You would have trouble missing. I mean, you have to almost go out of your way to miss that puzzle piece. And then you get to the next checkpoint. And you got these rotating platform traps. And there's going to be a puzzle piece right in the middle of that jump there. And then from that checkpoint, go off to the left-hand side. And there's another alternate path. Watch out for these traps. A little bit more tricky. Once you get to the end, pull the wires out. 
Another artifact, that is uh, the PlayStation Multitap. All right, so continuing onwards, you can see this big TV jumping down on us here. Well, we're gonna actually get on top of that. Getting on top of that is gonna lift you up to another puzzle piece. Now be careful, because that cloud that you jump onto will eventually lower, so you may have to do this a couple times to get the timing just right. Just get on top of the television and you'll uh, be able to jump up the puzzle piece. All right, now we are in Bumper Broadway, so we're back into the ball, which I actually really like. A little bit more than the the spring thing from Cooling Springs. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here is find a bunch of bowling pins here in the center circling around, around that bumper. All we need to do is knock all of these down here in the center, just the center, and that'll reveal a puzzle piece right there. You'll see there's also another puzzle piece just ahead here, but in order to get there, you need to take this little alternate path. And you'll run right into it then, as you come down. All right, so just a little bit further, you're gonna come down this icing. You actually have to backtrack for that puzzle piece because you'll roll right over it. So just backtrack and then take this left danger path before you move forward. This one's a little tricky. Uh, remember to hold the touchpad down if you're about to fall off. Don't have to be a hero here. Although I am, apparently. Didn't have to stop once, but there you go. There's the artifact. That is the DualShock controller. All right, so just a little bit further from there. We're gonna drop down. You'll see the next big bumper here in the center. You're just going to grab the puzzle piece next to it, and then we're gonna take the danger path to the left. So don't go towards those bowling pins just yet. We're gonna head left. This is another spot where you're gonna have to hold the touchpad button down probably. Very, very careful. Touch those things and it'll bounce you off. And then you'll slide down to the next artifact. Pocket station. I don't think I've ever seen that thing. And then finally the last thing you're gonna do is just go and grab the blue cord. This is my favorite section with the, the original PS startup. That's still probably my favorite startup of the, all of the PlayStation consoles. Let me know in the comments what your favorite startup was. I'd be surprised if it's anything but the PS1, unless you're younger. Which is probably all of you. And there we go. That will complete Memory Metal. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe.